We've been through a lot of vlogging cameras. The G7X, the RX100 Mark IV, the RX100 Mark V, the RX10, A6300, all were either were sold or returned because they just didn't do something that I needed them to do. I do want to carry this camera around more often. We've had this Canon 70D since 2012. Uh, before daily vlogging was even a twinkle in Casey Neistat's eye. But if it's a good <laughs> enough camera for Casey Neistat, it's a good enough camera for us. But this is a little cumbersome to carry around. I came up with an idea to make it a little easier to always have with us. The main component and the game changer that I'm hoping is this belt clip holster for DSLR cameras. How it works, you put this on your belt clip, this slides in, and the camera is always on your waist. And this is my first time using any of this, so you might not actually ever see this video because it's not might not work. Goes on my belt. What's the point of telling me? <gasps> That's comfy. That's comfy? I mean, compared to carrying around a monopod. In 2012, we backpack Europe carrying on a monopod. And so my hope is that when we go to Europe this year, that this will get the same quality footage, better than a little pocket camera, but a lot more comfortable to carry around. I don't like this little stud on there. I wish this was shorter. Maybe I'll try and find a shorter one. Okay, so that takes care of the camera, but audio, like I said, this seems a little bit too much. If the camera was ridiculous on your waist, adding a shotgun microphone on top, that's gonna just get in your way and bounce around. We're getting rid of the shock mount, getting rid of the wind muff. I'm just gonna zip tie that right there, and I think that's gonna be the most compact high quality vlogging rig available to us. I still need a wind muff though, so I bought these little guys. That's not bad. <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's so close, it just won't. It's too, just a little too short. Come on. Missed it. I'm gonna go grab some pliers so I can yank on a little harder. Happy New Year. And quick draw in three, two, we're vlogging. Check one, two. Check testing the microphone on our new vlogging rig and stop recording. On our way. I've been using this thing for a week now and I love it. It is perfect, it does everything I want it to do except one part. If you notice, the nub on this has a little extra long piece. I just want it real tight to this thing. Uh, and this is actually a knockoff of a $120 thing called a Spider Pro holster or something like that. This is the $20 Amazon version. So I got to thinking, what if I just buy the replacement part from the original, which I know is shorter, and put it on this one. So on your right is the old pin, on your left is the new pin. Threads are the same. Come on, snap in. Nope. I tried. Womp womp. Womp womp. Heading out on the scooter this morning to go to a machine shop uh, who said he'll turn down that little knobby on the little camera for the holster for cheap, he says. So I'm hoping cheap to him is 10 or 20 bucks. Perfect. Thank you so much. That is great. So it seems a little bit ridiculous, I know, to have a part machined for this thing. But there's the difference. Here's the long one, here's the short one. And it really has made all the difference in the world. It hugs so much closer to my hip now. It's perfect. I love it. And it's just nice to use the equipment that we already had. So we sold one camera, we returned that little camera that we bought, and we've had this one since 2012, and it is still the best image quality. It's just a little bit heavier than I really like. But with it everywhere we go on our hips, I think it's a win. You were on the scooter too, right? Yeah. Oh, did I show that we got the lens protector on here so we don't use a lens cap anymore? So this just screws on. And then as this one gets scratched up, we've got another one to put on. 
This thing by itself was 20 bucks. Buying this extra pin was $7, and then the machine shop charged me $15. So I've got $40 into this thing now. And the real thing is like 120, but they just released a new one that's 95. It's called the Spider Pro Lite, which I would get and not get this one, except that they're not releasing it until February and we need it for our trip to Costa Rica in a week. So I'm still happy with it and uh, I highly recommend it. If you're a vlogger and you want the DSLR look, but you need somewhere to put it, the whole thing works really good.